Lovely weather we're having. <laughs> gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a great weekend. It's a great weekend to be a duck. Looking forward to it. What a rivalry game. Austin's going to be crazy. And uh, I like what we're doing. And so I'm really excited to see what we do against, I mean, Herbert against our defense. What more could you ask for, right? So it's going to be a great game. Absolutely. Stop listening. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it was a great. I was when Taylor decided to come here. I was shocked, uh, and so that was it. Was a great day when she said she could be here um, and that she wanted to be a duck. And those, I thought that said a lot about our program and a lot about more about the team than me. Uh, she really got to know her teammates here. She did her homework, um, and so I think what a, what a great thing that was. Again, with Jolie being out for the year, I mean this was this was massive. Um, and then now she's coming to her own and she's comfortable in our system, you can tell, you know, lately. Um, and August and her developing a relationship and, um, I mean, she's, she's just getting started, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's, uh, come December, I think she's going to be a lot to deal with. Was there a sense of time in there last week where, yeah, she, she really was getting on the same page with everybody and that, that maybe you could see this, this form, a performance like that coming? Yeah, I think, practice? well, even, even more for me is uh, when she decided to transfer, she was out for the semester from volleyball. So, you know, it takes time to get back into uh, just shape to play our sport at our level. Um, I didn't want her to get injured. I didn't want to rush her back too soon and then not have her. Um, so, uh, you know, I wanted to see kind of where she, how she could progress. And so she was coming on, coming on. The second week of practice, she got hurt. Um, and so that, that kind of set her back. So she might have been back sooner um, if that didn't happen. But, um, you know, she she looked ready to me after that Washington State weekend, and then Arizona. I thought she looked really good that weekend, and then so we'll go with it. And she, pfft, she's fantastic. How did you approach her during the week and just let her know that she was going to take on a big role this upcoming weekend? I don't even think I said anything. I, I don't. I don't. I think I said. I think I said you're going to be our left and play six rotations. You good with that? I think that was, that was the conversation. And she said, Yeah. That's what she always says. So you just interviewed her, so you know. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, there you go. That's all I needed. So uh, she did it, you know, and she's ready. I think, I mean, she's so mature and she, it's just, everything's very uncomplicated for her. And uh, I think that's important for August to have somebody who's just calm and a steady presence. Uh, it's easy to play off of. Um, so great for Taylor. So it's coachable then. You don't have to play a lot of games to try to get out totally. of her or anything like I mean, that. again, I think someone asked her before, like, you know, how, you know, about her not playing. And she said, I have to earn my spot. I'm like, I like, I want more of you, you know? <laughs> so kind of a coach's dream, which, which you hope people would say. But I think she actually believes it. I don't think she's just talking. I think she believes it. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a leader, you know? Happy she's on our team. What does it mean now for players like Cameron Tastad and Samit Gill didn't get as much playing time? What are their roles at this point for the team? Ah, uh, I mean, it, every day you never know what you're going to get, right? I mean, what I say to our the girls that were trying to redshirt, you know, or whoever's out there now is just you're just trying to prepare. This is a long season. You know, there's a lot of time from now until December, right? So we don't know where we're going to end up. Uh, you know, if, if we go up with the ups and downs, I mean, how bad was the week before and how great was this past week? So what does that mean? It means that we need to keep learning, you know, and everybody needs to get ready. And uh, at the end of the year, we'll see what we got. Outside of Taylor emerging, what else was going right for you this weekend that allowed you to pick up these two wins and launch back into the top 15? I thought our focus was great. I thought we were very engaged. I thought we were thirsty to prove ourselves, reprove ourselves, um, you know, after the weekend we had before. Uh, it was very disappointing the Arizona weekend for us, to say the least, uh, especially with Danielle Bixby and that, that Sunday game. That was, that was a gut punch. Um, so I think, you know, for me, I could kind of sit back and say, you know, what are, we, what are we doing well? What do we need to change? And that was a nice time for me to be able to reflect and, um, you know, kind of make some different decisions, you know, and see what we needed to do. Uh, and then again, it gave an opportunity for Taylor, you know, uh, and, and some other people. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I just liked our maturity and we just fought the whole way. I think my favorite thing from the weekend was that Ronica Stone had a really poor offensive performance against UCLA and a great one against USC. And I couldn't tell the difference emotionally. She was the same. And that that speaks volumes to me. I mean, that's that's when I know we're good, you know. So uh, those are the kind of things that I'm looking for. How so. important is it to see some consistency? Uh, consistency how? Results, I guess, if, you know, if nothing else. Oh, for us to get yeah, consistent? Yeah. Well, I mean, that would be great, yeah. you know? Um, but, I, you know, I just think wins and losses take care of themselves if you're doing everything else right, you know? If you don't take care of business outside of the gym, you're going to be inconsistent. 
you know, so for us, we need to be more consistent in our daily lives and then things will happen for us that we want, you know, so. Trip to the mountain schools coming up next. Where does that rank amongst your least favorite places to travel to in the Pac-12? I like this trip. I mean, I, I like it a lot more now that we have the day in between. Uh, that was that was pretty brutal having to get up after a late match and then travel and then play that night because it would have to be like a 4.35 a.m. wake up call to play that. I mean, that was pretty hard. So I'm happy we don't have to do that. I just think for our students, I mean, that's that's not good for them. It's not good for their bodies. I mean, you're asking for an injury. You're asking to get sick. I feel like we always got sick from this trip, you know. Uh, we're trying to beat the weather. It's supposed to snow, so we're trying to, you know, keep that away from us. Uh, but no, I think it's it's great to play quality competition at their place, and it's definitely unique home court advantages for both of them. Um, and we always seem to have battles with these guys. Utah, I think, we're always in five there, and it's always a bloodbath. And uh, last year, that was one of my highlights from last year, that match. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a good trip. So it's nice to get people home. You know, we have Haley and August that are from Colorado, so it's great to go home and they get to see a bunch of people. So it's cool.